Amazing. Cameron. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, welcome to Taichung. Crazy story. I arrived here yesterday. I've been here for like two days. And the craziest thing about this particular area is that everything is in Vietnamese. So I feel like I'm in Vietnam. When I listen to people talk, the majority of people around me are speaking in Vietnamese, Tagalog or Indonesian. I can't hear the difference. To me, it sounds the same. And very little Chinese. Everyone here is some type of migrant worker. And apparently this is the weekend. Today is Sunday. And apparently everybody comes here to gather and hang out and eat. And then during the week, I guess, from what I've been told, there's not a lot of people here. I stopped and ate Vietnamese food because I've been craving it for four years. And I just stopped and got a, my first Vietnamese coffee that I've had since I've been in Vietnam in 2018 or 17, I'm not sure. So let's try it. Oh my God. This literally makes me want to go back to Vietnam. I'm so close. I have not bought my plane ticket to another country yet. I, I have to go to Hong Kong for a week and then after that I don't know where I'm going. Part of me says go to Vietnam, but they changed the policy where you can only get a 30-day visa. So part of me says just go back to India because I can stay there for a longer period of time. So anyway, I'm so excited. I decided to make this video because it feels like I'm in Vietnam all over again because there's so much Vietnamese written everywhere, everywhere. I mean, half of the words here are Vietnamese. Hotel names, restaurants, pharmacies, even the people I ordered this from, they're from Vietnam and they only spoke Vietnamese, very little Chinese and like no English. So I had to speak Vietnamese and translate. So it was fun. So the name of this area, according to the sign is Asian Square. It's very interesting, I must say. Basically, I almost finished my entire drink. I've been in this area for a while. I'm so happy that I found this spot just because of the drink. It's so exciting to taste the... Hello. <laughs> it's so interesting to have this taste in my mouth again because it's been like four years. It's so good. I've tried Vietnamese coffee in other countries. It does not come close to being made by the local people because it's a special type of coffee and it's a special way that they make it. You always see them carrying around these bottles of coffee, it looks like tar. <laughs> they pour it in here and mix it with whatever they mix it with and it's just the best thing ever. Look at this. Every other place that I've been to in Taiwan so far, they don't really do this and sit in this way. I don't know, it's just interesting. So you can see the cultural differences that are here. Some people would argue that's not a good thing that this is happening and other people would say, cool, it's so different and unique. So it depends on your perspective, I suppose. I don't know how I feel. It's something that's happening all over the world where people move, communities start, and things start to change. Cultures, traditions, things kind of evolve and change. I can't really complain too much. I mean, look at me, I travel all over the world. I'm not parked in one place, so I'm just a long-term traveler as opposed to people who set up a life and buy houses and influence things in the community. So I don't know, debatable <laughs> anyway, but I'm happy I found the coffee. It is about 6.30 p.m. It's starting to get dark. And this whole area is starting to clean up, I guess. Once night falls, then everybody goes home, I guess. Yeah, there's much fewer people here than there were before. Here's some sugarcane juice. So this place is kind of dying down. Somehow I thought it would be busier. I went back to my hotel and checked in over there. It was actually sprinkling a little bit earlier today. Check into my hotel was 3 p.m. Uh, that's why I was out walking around and exploring today, waiting for my hotel room to become available. Anyway, now I'm probably just gonna go sit in the park for a couple of minutes, catch up on social media, but I wanna buy a drink. I looked at these things earlier, but they didn't look very exciting. It's all fruit and sugar. Maybe I'll have another look. Basically just right up here is where I bought my coffee. I think we can go. Nope, it's still green. I have no idea. There's no light to cross the street. Anyway, there's a nice Vietnamese lady up here. We had a conversation yesterday, so I keep going back to her shop, but they don't sell drinks like this. So I have to look at this menu and check out some drink options. A lot of it's just fruit, sugar and fruit. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm looking. Uh, the other side. Basically, it's all in Vietnamese and in Tagalog or Indonesian. I'm not sure which one. A little bit of English over here. That's nice. Winter melon lemon tea. Ah, this one. I'll just take a photo and show her. 
all speaking Vietnamese. Mm-hmm. Awesome. This one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And plastic, yeah? Oh, okay. okay. Ooh, that looks dark. Not like the photo. The photo was very light. Ooh, she has lemon juice from a bottle. So tea from a bottle, lemon from a bottle, mix it together and it's good to go. Oh, and then a scoop of tar. <laughs> I don't know. And some ice. That's cool. Awesome. Is it this one? Is that correct? I don't know. Yes. Thank you. I guess I just want to go sit in the park. I don't know where to go. Rule number one, don't die. <laughs> Always look at the uh, lights. I think I found a spot. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. The sign said no fishing, no swimming, but it did not say no sitting over here. So that's good news. Just kind of hanging out with myself. Kind of weird. That's okay. That's normal. Uh, so I've been on the road for seven years and hanging out with myself is quite normal. Generally, I travel for culture. It's very interesting to me to see the culture of the local country. And I guess this is an interesting thing over here because so many other people are here that are not Taiwanese. So that's fun. Mm, it's not bad. Definitely lemon. What the hell is that? It's part of the photo on the top. Thought it was a hair, but uh, nope. It's not too sweet, which is good. I don't really like a lot of sweetness. Yeah, interesting. So if you look over here, behind me, behind you, I guess, um, you'll see that there is a, a Filipino flag, a Thai flag, Indonesian flag, and a Vietnamese flag. So that's interesting. I don't know what, what's over there. Gold Star Express Company Limited. I just think it's interesting that there's like a little microculture here that is not Taiwanese. And when I talk to other people about this area, local people, I'm like, yeah, what's the deal with this? And they're just like, yeah, they're trying to not sound negative about it. So I get the feeling that some people don't like the fact that there's so many foreigners starting a life in one particular area because it changes the culture, it changes the appearance, people sitting everywhere, different dressing habits. So I kind of get the feeling from the local people that "Mm, they don't really like it, but they don't really publicly complain or anything about it. They just kind of accept it and it is what it is. That's kind of the feeling I get, but I can't say that's everyone. Anyway, that's it. A very uneventful day. I had to randomly switch from uh, one hotel to this new hotel. I was going to stay for a week at the previous place, but they said, oh, no, we're only open on the weekends because of the virus. Did a bird just shit on me? Nope, it's rain. Okay, good. Anyway, so I had to randomly check out and find a new place randomly. And so I had to wait all afternoon to go to my next place. And for the next week, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm basically just going to sit and edit and try to get caught up because I'm so far behind on YouTube. It's unbelievable. Anyway, today's a very random video. I'm going to go. I'm going to sign off. If you made it this far, awesome. (laughs) Thank you all for watching. Remember, gross. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.